Hello, fluffy people of the world. My name is Liquid Blitz, and welcome to another blind Let's Play on my channel. This time we're starting Resident Evil 4. Um, I've done several Resident Evil games on my channel, all in a higgledy-piggledy order, and they're all blind Let's Plays. This is no exception. I've never seen anything to do with this game in all the long years that it's been out. I never played any incarnation. I've not so much as seen a clip of any incarnation so this truly is a blind let's play um i've done ev every game that i've played of resident evil's series is on my channel um so you can see my entire history now the order i've played these games is um is very weird my introduction to resident evil was resident evil 7 um which was obviously very late to the game and then the next one i played was resident evil 2 the hd remake and then the 3 hd remake and then we jumped back to the resident evil 1 hd remake um i tried resident evil 0 at some point the original um and that's i need to finish that um i took a long break from that so I, i'm not counting that and then i did resident evil village a few months ago and now resident evil 4 the the 4 hd remake is um gonna be released at like the end of 2022 or maybe 2023 it's currently august 2022 and for the first time i want to do an original before i do the hd remake um very very weird order um there's no real reason but the point is i, I have played some incarnation of one two and three so i know the story um now I have uniquely I'm sort of, I think I'm in a sort of a unique position. This is fully blind to me. It's the original and I've installed the an HD project uh sort of overhaul mod. Now it doesn't change anything to do with the game. It's just graphics. It tightens up a lot of graphics and it includes a lot of fixes to the to the problem of um well I've read that the the Steam version from 2014 of this game is like a port of a port of a port and there are lots of problems with it and f bugs and all sorts of shit that remains to this day and this fixes a lot of them it it's basically fixes things but doesn't like change things or you know it's not a mod mod it's it's standard game as far as i can tell it's just slightly better graphics and a lot of bug fixes so let's just jump into it um, I've set all the options up, I believe. Um, I might have to jump into this little thing, because this has lots of extra options. Um, but I've, I've set it all up, it should be good to go. So let's do it. The, I'm, I'm gonna suck, by the way. I'm gonna shit my pants, and I'm gonna suck. But let's just do it. Normal or easy. This is a blind... Oh, normal. I, I'm not a... I'm a pussy, but I'm... But I'm I'm not a pussy. Resident Evil 4. Oh, hell yes. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. I like this throwback just to uh, bring you up to speed. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. A lot of this is new to me, even though I've played 1, 2, and 3, technically. I play these games for the story, by the way. I'm a very, I try to be a thorough player, um, and I try to soak, soak up as much story as possible. Since that horrendous incident. Six years. Resident Evil 2, right, and I know, I should go through what I know. I received Music. special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Vibrations? Why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Leon Kennedy, that's who I am. You 
are a long way from home, cowboy. Is this ra radio music? Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. <laughs> then again, maybe you did. Cool guy, Leon. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. These guys sound evil. I don't know why. I should go in through what I know, the, the little that I know of this game. I know we're playing as Leon Kennedy, and that's one of the main characters of Resident Evil 2. And I remember that very well, where you play as Leon and Claire. And that was 1998, six years before this game, apparently. Right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. Protecting the president's daughter. To our intelligence. There's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Is he taking a piss? What's with the shaky cam? Is this? Because, uh, yeah. It's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. I don't know, like... <sighs> I know the port has a lot of bugs and problems. I don't know if the shaky cam is part of the game or if that's like the HD mod that I've got on breaking it. Yeah, you don't want to piss outside when it's freezing. I'm liking the foggy, mysterious atmosphere already. So I don't know any of the story of this game. Um, there's, a, there's a group of people who has the president's daughter and we need to save her is the message I'm getting. Look at the fucking hydraulics on that car! Is this a lowrider? Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Is he supposed to sound... To get any parking tickets. Parking tickets. Is he supposed to sound like an ultra-villain? Good luck. <laughs> okay. I'm loving the voice acting already, dude. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Yeah, who who were these guys? <laughs> Leon, I hope you can hear me. Hello. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Ingrid. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. We've, we've got ooh, we've got that old school um, voice lines, old school writing of the voice lines. Um, okay, right here we go. It starts now. I should point out I'm using mouse and keyboard. Now I've I've googled like you know which is better, mouse and keyboard. Um, ooh. Uh, yeah, versus um, controller. Now, I do have a controller backup. In case this all goes to shit and the controls are awful on PC, I do have a PlayStation controller on on hold. Okay, right. First things first, I'm going to have to get used to this shit. Forgive me for, like, taking a long time to get used to shit um, and so on. This is this, It really is a blind let's play, so try not to get too frustrated if I miss things or, you know, uh, you know, or it takes me a long time to get used to it. I will... First, first time dipping into the mod already. I need to lower the sensitivity. Like a lot. Oh, let's try the minimum. I, I try to slow things down for YouTube, otherwise it's too, like, shaky cam and it's, it's ridiculous. Um... That's okay. Right, movement. Let's just, let's just spend one or two minutes breaking down the movement. Um, w, A, S, and D is forwards, backwards, sort of turn left, turn right. Um, you can turn the movement and the aim with the camera. The HD mod I've got changes a few of these things and you can turn them on and off. What I've got right now is my mouse is moving the camera and my aim. Um, and I can sort of straight turn with both the keyboard and the mouse at the same time. 
which is a bit odd, but I'll get used to it. Um, oh, I'm used to the aim being in the middle of the screen, but it's it's not on this game. Interesting. So in the bottom right, we've got my health, ammo, and my name. It's Leon. Hello, birds. I'm not going to waste ammo. If there's one thing I have learned in Resident Evil games, every bullet counts. Um, I have seen some side-by-side -side comparisons of the uh, of the original Steam version and then this HD mod, and things like the hair is crisper um, with the mod, and I'm fine with that. If this if this HD mod project, I think it's called HD Project. Um, if it changed anything to do with the gameplay, I wouldn't use it. I want to make that clear. Um, I only did it because it slightly tightens up some visual things, and that doesn't bother me. We've still got the old school gameplay, and that's that's what I want. Okay, we've got a coughing man already. There are various small items on the shelf. Nothing particularly useful here. Okay. I might have to, like, yeah. Between episodes, I might toggle with the controls. It's, it feels a bit weird. Are you okay, sir? You seem to be Excuse coughing. You. Sir? Hello? Okay, that's rude. What a rude man! Have you seen this president's daughter? Oh god, he looks a bit gruff, doesn't he? Fuck it out! I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Why is he so angry? Sorry to have bothered you. Is that Spanish? Fucking hell! The fuck, man! I will not hesitate in shooting your ass. Let me tell you. Freeze, motherfucker! Oh my god. Okay, this is not a human. If he can take a shot to the face. Oh, you can sprint. I didn't want to kill- I, I sh maybe I should have given him one to the leg. Look at the car bouncing! That can't be part of the game. That's got to be a bug. <laughs> maybe not. Did that truck just run down some people? Is everything okay? No. A hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Understood. So that blonde... Um, is that... Can I, can I loot the body? <laughs> oh, yes. Nice. Um... Are they pushing in the building? He's not a zombie. You know, he just wanted to kill me. Jesus. Um, right. I believe the tab key is my menu. Right, we've got a pistol, bullets, first aid spray. Uh, hang on, hang on. Do I have to... Okay, we've got a map. And, and a typewriter. Oh, right, okay, that's the first save point. Um, how do you, how do you, how do you... There we go. Files got not got any yet. Key treasures, weapons recovery. I can't even click on these. Okay. We'll get used to it, I'm sure. So I can hit shift to sprint. Before I go outside and get eaten by half zombie people. Looks like they've killed a lot of people. Oh, the maggots. Those are some big fucking maggots. Those are like worms. I hope Ashley's okay. So is that girl we saw in the photograph, the president's daughter then, called Ashley? By the way, uh, she's in the main menu. Both Leon and Ashley in the main menu. On the, on the artwork. She looks exactly... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the sound down just a little bit. At least the... Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to keep tweaking the audio. But yeah, she, she, the first time I saw Ashley on the main menu, I thought that looks 
exactly like uh, the sidekick of Xena. Xena Warrior Princess from like the 90s. It looks the spitting image of her. Even the clothes is like the same. Oh. Oh, so these... these... Can I see him? Oh, I can. Can I just pop him? <laughs> pop him through the window now? Okay. Can I break the window? Get out. Was it? Was there something upstairs that I just completely missed? Oh, right, I can jump out. Okay. Okay. It's not much of a house, is it? <laughs> Fucking hell! Fucking hell! Oh shit. Oh! oh, oh, oh. They, they sound upset. Did, did he just say El Nino? Oh my god. Oh, I missed one. Three bullets. I don't want to kill all the locals, but they're attacking me with fucking pitchforks and shovels. I'm sorry. Bloody hell. I keep instinctively um, trying to strafe with, with A and D, but it turns you in this game. It doesn't strafe. I wonder if I can change that. Yes. Uh, does this use ink ribbons in this game? Um. Yes. There we go. I guess not. Nice. Good. Thank fucking Jesus. I appreciate the old school, but fuck ink ribbons. <laughs> I want to save when I want to save. It's a wooden box. Um, do I have a knife? Oh, it's the same controls as um, uh, Resident Evil One. I think. You 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 ready the knife, and that uh, yeah, and you can't move. It's exactly the same as Resident Evil One. That's familiar. I've got 900 P Peters. Peters? I'll take him. So I'm guessing, um, yeah, I, I, that's another thing I knew, that this game has like currency and the tra and the merchant um, because of comments when I played Resident Evil Village because that's got a merchant. And somebody mentioned that uh, it's it's like Resident Evil 4 in that regard. So that's another thing I did know. Oh, Jesus. Right, where are we going? Where, where is the president's daughter? Pueblo. So are we in Spain then? I don't think it told us where we were. We know they're speaking Spanish. The, uh, the guards sounded like evil Spanish villains. <laughs> uh, any, any clues? Any, any... No. Let's keep going then. In the comments, let me know how my camera work is. I'm always conscious that I'm moving around too much and it's not a good viewing experience. Hello? Oh shit! Or Is this a wolf or a dog? Hello? Help! Please don't kill me. From, like, anger at uh, the pain. Hello? Oh, he's just gone. He just, he just merged with the world. <laughs> he's gone. Oh, fucking hell. Can I get trapped in these? Well, I hope we see him again. That, that ha I, I have to see that dog in the future. There's no way that was... Why would it give me a random dog to help? Pueblo, okay, okay. Same signpost. Gotcha. I'm so gonna step in the next, very next bear trap. Uh, okay, I, can I just, can I, uh, can I only trip these? I can't, like, no. Can't disarm. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I don't want to shoot you. You must understand. Uh, hey, he dies to a leg shot. Oh, oh, fucking hell, I didn't see that one. 
I wonder if these guys walk into the um, the trip mines or the bear uh, traps. Okay, next dude I see. I'm going to try dragging him into the bear trap. Oh, goodness. One thing I'm going to quickly do. Uh, -da 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 -da, display. You can add additional FOV in this mod. And it says 20 seems good for most cases. What does 20 feel like? Oh, I like that. That's good. Yes. Yes. I hope reloading in this game is unrealistic and you don't drop bullets. <laughs> I can see people ahead. Uh, uh, uh. Money. Let's just, let's loot shit quick. Real quick. Real quick. Herb. I assume the herb mixing is the same as the other games. Guess there's no sex discrimination here. That's a woman with a pitchfork through the face. Jesus. Hang on, hang on. I need to get in position. There's no bear traps close enough. Oh! Oh, bah, 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 bah. By the way, I appreciate the laser sight right from the start of the game. These guys are tough motherfuckers. Oh, nice. Can I, um... Let's have some balls. Oh, woo! Oh, fucking hell, these guys have got moves. Oh! Oh, fucking hell, I suck. I need to learn to backstep properly rather than just slowly turn on the spot. Oh! This is the shit I need to learn. You can hit backwards and sprint, and it's a quick turn. Ah, uh -huh, nice. Um, no spoilers in the comments, please. But if you've got any, like, tips for beginners, or, like, things you'd wish you'd known when you played for the first time, you know, please let me know in the comments. Um, anything that can help me out that's spoiler-free. Can I help someone? Or no. Nope, they're all bad guys. Ooh. <laughs> you son bitch! I pressed backwards and jump for some reason as if I would backstep. Oh Jesus. I'm guessing headshots are a thing. I mean I did kill a dude to, with a shot to the leg, but Hey, I'm getting a lot of ammo. Um, let's just take a little look. I assume the herb mixing is the same, because I've only got, like, you know, the, the later games to go on and shit. Um, but as far as I'm aware, like, mixing two greens would make a medium green-only heal. So I'll save them until I find, like, a red. And I'm interested to know if there's going to be blue herbs in this game, because that seems to be intermittent through the Resident Evil games. The newer ones tend to shrug off the, the blue, which is a shame. Hello? Oh, fuck me. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question. Huh? I've just been pitchforked. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Don't need a playing manual anymore. I've got YouTube. Oh shit. Uh, control. Uh, hang on. Control configuration changes are not reflected here. Please pay careful attention to button functions. Reloading. Press R while re. Hang on. Press R while holding down right click. You don't have to do that in the mod. The mod that I've got the HD thing lets you just hit R and it does it anyway. So there's lots of quality of life improvements in the mod. Kicks. Oh. Approaching enemies that are either stunned or on their knees will allow Leon to perform kicks. So they've got to be stunned or on their knees and close enough. Okay. I'm sure we'll figure this out. Changing inventory screens using 
I paid no, it, no. There's different buttons, I'm sure, on PC to do that. Um, I think A and D switches the screens, maybe. Okay, then. Info on Ashley. Hang on. Oh, files. Okay, oh, well, let's read. I'm here for the story, dudes. I'm not here for the gameplay, necessarily. So that's her. F Google Xena Warrior Princess sidekick. It's fucking her in a, in a fucking nutshell. They're identical. Ashley Graham, 20, daughter of the United States president. She was kidnapped by an unidentified group while on her way home from her university. So she's gone to uni in a foreign country. The kidnapper's motives are still unknown, although there's reliable information that the perpetrator is an insider. Only a handful of people know about this kidnapping. It's been kept under wraps, mostly due to the fact that we got to determine who the traitor is. The, the, the guys in intelligence say they have reliable information that actually has been cited somewhere in Europe. But until we find out who the insider is, I don't know who, I don't know what to believe, could be a ploy. So it sounds like we're in, literally in Spain. Because in like South America, there's, you know, there's, there's Spanish, there's Portuguese, but in Europe, there's pretty much, there's pretty much just Spanish. Uh, you, you get the idea. We have very few leads as to whereabouts of Ashley, but members of the Secret Service and anyone else related to Ashley are being questioned by an investigative team. Even active agents are being investigated for any information. It's just a matter of time before the kidnapper is exposed. Okay. I'm missing some health, but that, it's fine. I'm, I'm liking the cutscenes. The late, the newer Resident Evil games don't have cutscenes, really. Ooh, zoom. We got a chicken! Oh, chicken! Oh, ho, 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 ho! Oh, hang on, is that one of the dudes from the car? Policier! We've got a dude carting hair around, we've got some chickens. I think those are chickens. Do I, does this, does this camera have a, a, a directional microphone like from Metal Gear Solid on? Anything else I can glean from this? I mean, we did hear the van crash, didn't we? We heard a van, there was some commotion, and it sounded like the van was rushing some people and, like, trying to knock them down. And then we see a police guy on a massive, like, hook from a burning tree. That has to be one of the evil drivers. Or evil-sounding drivers. Okay. It's like they're still doing chores, though. He's pitchforking some hay. She's carrying back buckets of water around. Right, let's not go the main way. They keep repeating the word cabron. Now, my Spanish is rusty as balls. Does that mean, uh, like, cabron? I don't know what it means. It doesn't mean, like, bastard or something, does it? She's saying it a lot. Um, um, oh, M is straight up the map key. Oh, that's nice. Um, okay. It tells you where the typewriters are. That's awesome. Okay. Entered, not entered, sealed. Oh, it even gives you the destination. That's um handy. Now, to the best of my knowledge, this has a lot of ports and stuff. Like, ignoring the HD mod. I'm just going to ignore that for now. Um, I know that this is the 2014 Steam version, and it's not technically the original. That was like a port to PC from the GameCube version, I believe. And I think the GameCube version isn't even the original. So it's like a port of a port of a port. Now, I don't know how many... Have I riled up the town already? Fucking hell, man! Calm yourself. Can I knife them, like, easily? If I can save on ammo, I will do. Let's try, let's try... Ah! Oh, 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 bitch! Okay, that that. Oh! Ah. My health is fucked. Right. Did I hear one behind me then? Ah! 
I'm a professional marksman. <gasps> Run past him, run past him, run past him, run past him, run past him. Oh my god, I'm shit myself. Oh god. Real fast, real fast, real fast, real fast. Take refuge behind the cow. Uh, does the inventory screen pause time? I think it does. Um, I mean, I'm low health. Let's just use the full heal. Let's be a noob right out of the gate. <laughs> um, if shit hits the fan, I'll mix two greens. Um, hello cow. I mean, not to diffuse the moment, but hello cow. I shall bring no harm to animals. In fact, I'm going to get away from the animal so these so these guys don't like pickaxe the cow. Jesus Christ. I wonder if I can like leg them to stun them. You know how it said? Uh, oh shit! Right now, let's kill one or two. Oh shit, oh shit. Let's kill all but one and I'll try some, like, kick stuff. Shit, shit. Sh <gasps> what? What? Oh fuck. Oh, thanks for the warning. Fucking hell, man. Oh, is he dead? Oh shit, I killed him. Oh no, it's not. Um, oh, is that the kick that has been aforementioned? Do you have to get grabbed to kick then? Oh my god. Right, ha oh, the voices, dude, they sound demonic. We're doing good. That guy on the roof needs to fuck off, though. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's not. He's there. Uh, right, let's back off so he can't axe me in the face. Oh, these controls are definitely going to take some getting used to. Mm, oh, she... I'm tempted to try maybe, um... Shooting the ones with a long weapon like a pitchfork who can swing from a mile away and hit me. But I'm, I'm tempted to try and... Oh, fuck! Okay. No. Her, her, oh, shit. Her knife is much longer range than my knife. <laughs> Which is a bit of bullshit. Jesus. Luck. I'm trying to understand some Spanish, but I'm failing at... Oh shit, they've all gone, like, friendly. No. What is this? They're all being, like, d physically drawn to the church. What the fuck? What's the story here? Where's everyone going? Bingo? He's awfully calm for taking a knife to the face and a pitchfork to the face and, like, you know, seeing a bunch of crazed villagers. Is that just intro? Please tell me I didn't fail. Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of you there. You could say that again. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Tower, trail. It, can she be trusted? If there's one thing I've learned from Resident Evil, um, Resident Evil One, let's look. Let's mix two of these. There we go. Yeah, it's half. Oh, it's halfway up, so it's a half heal. Can I mix three and make it a full heal? It's kind of a wa kind of a waste of green herbs. While I've got a quiet moment, I'm not going to use it. I should be okay, because I think this area this area is clean now. But yeah, if, if Resident Evil One has taught me anything, it's that don't trust any of the fucking characters because of um, Wesker. Uh, Wesker and what's his name? Who was actually a good guy from Resident Evil 1. The guy that I let fall, was it Barry? I let him fall into the pit and die. <laughs> but yeah, Wesker was a good guy until he wasn't at the end of Resident Evil uh, 1. And I'm getting... Who knows? That Hunnigan might be a bad, bad woman. Ooh, oh, could I use that grenade? 
flash grenade. I could have used that before. Let's just get all collectibles. Okay. I'm guessing we, uh, yeah. We come through the other side of that. I've played just enough Resident Evil to know about, you know, how the general layouts of these games work. You know, there's only one way you could ever go. And then you've got to unlock all the other ways and there's there's a progression of keys you've got to find usually. Hang on, what was that? There's a... oh, okay. Shall I just knife everything? What seems to be food has started to rot, but no one has bothered to throw it away. This is some creepy shit. All the villagers are like being mind controlled. Oh god, is this the, is this the main bad bad guy? Some sort of priest. Okay. I'm getting Outlast, um... Fucking, is it one or two? No, Outlast 2 vibes. Where there's that big, giant, fat, um priest sort of cult leader guy and he's got all the villagers crazy and following him and shit the water is awfully dirty that poor cow is having to drink that shitty water have I got any um so that's a fire grenade can I shortcut some of these I guess not that's fine oh box Oh, there you go. Let us combine Uno with DOS. I'm going to try and get my Spanish on in this game. Um, oh, the halfway up the tube thing means nothing. Okay. Well, let's use that because that should be a full heal. Cool. Um, yeah, the, the kick thing and the melee, I'd like to sort of get used to that because, uh, you know, I, I'm all about conserving that ammo, personally. But so far, they, they just seem to be able to melee you much, much further away than you can melee them. Even with a knife, you know? I'll, oh, you can push it. Oh, I can. You can block the door. I'm guessing. Um, let's just test. I'm sure this is probably frustrating to watch you know, somebody learn for the first time, but I've got to learn all these little things. More r rotten food. Oh Jesus! This is like Resident Evil Seven when you first enter the Baker House and all the food's rotten and it's all just gone to shit. Now, I'm guessing Umbrella is behind this. So just going back to the story again. Oh, because Umbrella's behind everything. Except the mold. And I was thinking about that earlier, actually, how it's, it's kind of strange that my introduction to all of Resident Evil, when you think about it, it, my first game was Resident Evil 7. So my first introduction wasn't the zombie virus. It was the mold. So on some level, I'm sort of more familiar and comfortable with the mold storyline rather than the, the main Resident Evil storyline of the zombie virus and Umbrella. Because I'm pretty sure the, the, the mold had nothing to do with um, Umbrella and the zombie virus. I think they're loosely connected, I think. Um, ooh, hell yes. Um... Do you have to go in the men do you have to go in the menu to change weapon? I guess so. Unless there's some way of switching. Um No. On the main menu there's a how to play thing. It's, it's not a Let me know in the comments if you can switch weapon without going into the inventory. The bed is heavily stained. I don't even want to know. I don't want to know. Jump out. Oh, can we just mention this guy's, like, fucking jump out game, by the way? I, mm. Oh, fuck it. Let's do it. 
I blocked the entrance so I can't get back in. <laughs> but I think I've got everything, haven't I? Um, yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell! He's like, like Superman. Any other lootables? Some kind of liquid blitz is dripping off of the table. Yeah, just filth. So you can block any of these doors, which is interesting. Uh, is that destructible? Oh, it is. Ooh. 1,000. Oh, Pitas. Pesetas. That was the Spanish currency um, before the Euro took over. Well, isn't it? Makes sense now. Pitas. Ah. Hey. I'm usually a moron. So I'm proud of whenever I uh, pick up on something that's not immediately obvious. So if I barricade a door then, am, can I, am I like fucked? Like I can't get back in myself? Um, I think that's everything. I'll leave the cow in peace. Like I, uh, well, let's test. Oh. Fucking hell. Leon is legit superhuman. Uh, okay, we can climb the tower. That's what she said, isn't it? Um, oh, shit, shit. I'm hitting all sorts of keys. Uh, there's a typewriter. We're going another direction. Anything down here? I'm going to need all of the shinies. All of the clickies and collectibles. Uh, and what the fuck is that up there? That has not escaped my notice. Uh... Didn't I just bust this door down? Hang on. Sorry, I'm taking forever. Can I? Yes, can I get out, out onto the roof? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Eee. I, oh. I wish I'd have come up here sooner. Okay. I'm glad they didn't, like, eat the cow in front of me. Alive. What's this? Is this, like, a jewel? This is very like Resident Evil Village, I'm guessing, with the merchant and the valuables you can sell for lots of them. I've got a spinal. Spinal. That's definitely a valuable to sell. Chicken! I'm guessing I can just jump off the roof because Leon is a superhuman. There you go. Nice. That poor cop. Can I loot him? What in God's name? If only he'd come with me. I know. You can always trust in the Resident Evil protagonists. So far, I'm getting, like, Jill Valentine, like, superhuman vibes from Leon. In Resident Evil 2 and... Th well, just 2. Leon was a bit more squishy and, uh... It's locked and won't open. There's some kind of symbol on the door. Indeed, there is a symbol. Let me guess, the main bad guy of this game is going to be a monster that looks like that. Fuck that shit. Right, let's climb. But yeah, in like Resident Evil 1, uh, the 2014 version where he plays Jill Valentine, she's like super tough and super human. And she is in Resident Evil 3, the HD remake. She's just like, you know, she takes so much damage she should have died like 47 times over throughout the course of the game. Tough as shit. And Leon in this game has those same vibes. He's just jumping out of windows, not giving a fuck. Oh. I thought I was meant to come up here. Okay. Fucking hell! Do you see what I mean? He's got the knees of like 40 Olympic champions all merged into one. Right, I think the way to go is this way. Yes, it is. Any any clickies though? There's, there's, there's gonna be some... Grandeur. I don't know what that means. You know, I'm, I'm a quarter Spanish. 
Um, I'm basically half Spanish. And I don't speak Spanish. I know the odd word or two. I can pick up the odd word. But, uh... Alert order. Oh, the villagers have been alerted to me then. Recently, there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. So these people aren't just, like, mindless zombies. They're... they're, they're they're fully aware. Do not let this American agent get in co contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. Well, you, you, you fucking captured the president's daughter. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. Umbrella, maybe? Oh, hang on. This is a, a, a notice from the police. This isn't the villagers. My fellow men still Chief Bitores Mendez. So this isn't the crazy villagers. This is one of the cops that's been hooked and killed. I'm guessing the third party is Umbrella. Um, Honigan, I've got... Ah, right, okay. I'd like to bring to attention how, um, how beautifully... And I mean that genuinely, how beautifully wooden the faces are when they're talking on, like, the codec-type job. It's very old school. I like it. Jesus Christ. More cows to save. More chickens. Is there a way of, um... I'm guessing there isn't, but is there a way of sneaking? Crouching? Um... Let me just real quick... Real quick, um... How the fuck? There we go. I'm gonna be real quick and brief here. Combat knife, camera, action button, da da da. Nope. Number two. Da da da. Reloading, da da. Kicks. Number two screen. I wonder if I can change some of those buttons. After episode one, I'll take a deeper look at keybinds with like the HD mod and see if I can make this a bit of a smoother experience. Save. Oh, the, the Resident Evil save menu music. <sighs> it's nostalgic in a way that sort of shouldn't be, because I, 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 I've never played this game before, but, but you get what I'm saying. It's a, it's a lovely, familiar sound. It means you're safe. Okay. Right. I might practice out the old shotgun. Or I might save that for when shit really hits the fan. Can you jump over fences? Yep. Right. Before anyone sees me, what's all this shit about? About the blue medallions. Fifteen blue medallions. Seven in the farm, eight in the cemetery. For those of, for those of you who destroy ten or more will be awarded. Is this to do with the merchant again? I'm guessing it is. I'm guessing the... I know there's a merchant at some point. Um, oh, right. I see, this is an introduction. Uh, is this gonna give me away? Surely they're gonna hear a gunshot, but fuck it. Uh, I guess we just shoot the actual medallion itself. Un forastero! Un forastero! Alright, okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Let's take the chicken egg. You can always use a chicken egg. Do they just hop st Oh, Jesus. Right, let's practice some serious shit here. Oh, fuck. Whoa. Um, yeah, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Um, hang on, hang on. There's no easy way of backstepping. There's a quick, um, turn. There it is, right. Oh, uh, does that kick, kick him or does it just push him back? Uh, sorry, does it kill them? I mean... There we go. So, so you can stun them with 
Definitely a leg shot. You might just be able to stun him with any shot. Um, next time I'll try a head shot and see if that stuns him, and then I'll try and kick him after that. I love the different coloured glows. Red means ammo, and blue is like everything else. I'm hoping that was in real life. Uh, let me have a quick... Fuck, I'm sorry. I live on a high street and sometimes assholes rev their engines. Uh, right, chicken egg. Can I inspect? Restores health by a small degree. Can I... Can I mix chick... That's kind of odd. <laughs> I'll, but I'll take it. I wonder if I can mix it with anything. Oh, there's no... No, there's no combine thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm doing fine on ammo. I'm doing fine for now. Anything else? I love the fact that the medallions are blue, by the way. Just super bright and easy to see blue. Surely I won't miss any. Ooh. Oh shit, how long- I feel I've been going 57 minutes. I need to not get carried away and record for like 7 hours. As always on my channel, I try to aim for between an hour and an hour and a half per part. Just so you get a nice chunk of content in one go. And now I know because, again, because of um, Resident Evil Village, you can combine some treasures to become even greater treasures. I'm guessing you can't with these crystals. Fuck off! Fuck it out! Fuck off! Can I, like, sp oh, right, it's coming at me. I was going to say, can I sprint at those? Or just kick, kick all manner of ass? Um, right, let's try a headshot stun, and then I'm going to try and kick him. Ah, oh, damn. What the fuck? Is that just a, a, a gameplay mechanism to get rid of the bodies? Uh, so we're not playing around a mountain of bodies, or is that, like, part of the virus or some shit? Right, okay, hang on, hang on. Um, can I then just kill him? Is that what that is for? Yeah. Okay. Ah, right. Okay. Turn to mush, sir. Okay. So it doesn't kill- the kick doesn't kill him, but it's like a- a proper stun. Like, they're down for a while and I can just knife them. Whew. I really should have probably checked any sort of, um, tips for beginner's guides. When it- ooh, hello. When it comes to, uh, inventory management, um, I'm pretty good. I know not to just, like, keep everything. Uh, y'all will have to let me know if there's, like, a safe- like, a chest, like, a safety deposit box, um, like Resident Evil 7 and Village. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to start using and dumping shit, because I'm getting too much- Okay. That thing said there was seven in the village. What a shot. And eight in the cemetery. Sorry, farm. We're not in the cemetery yet, are we? Nah, this is farm, right? There's um, four more to get. Hello! I'm, I'm probably not going to 100% this game, but I'm going to complete the shit out of it. Like for the most part. Um, once I fall, can I get back up? Let's go for it. Wor worst, I, you know, anyone who knows my channel knows I try to always go the optional ways first before the way that progresses the game, but I always get it fucking wrong. I always go the... I always think it's the optional side path and then it, c it c continues the game. And there's nothing worse than a game that you can't go back in, you know? A 
so far this seems very um I don't know how you'd call it like it seems that like you can go back in this game five there's two more in this area uh right I'll try opening the door but god hell if this is like okay with a little help from another person maybe I can climb over oh I'm guessing because I've seen Ash I've seen Ashley on the um the main menu. I'm guessing you play with her. Uh I haven't completed Resident Evil Zero, but that's the only uh I've got some experience of having two people to play with, you know. I, I think I was like halfway through Resident Evil Zero before I took a long break. Um I will be getting back to it at some point. Uh, but there was a variety of reasons why I stopped, and that was like a year ago. I've still got all the parts safe and recorded. Right, two more blue things. Cow, can you point the way? Oh, I love it. I love wildlife in games. Hello, can you pet them? No. Now this is an old school game, so you can definitely kill them if I shoot them, so I'm not even going to try. You can do everything in old school games. Nothing here except a stinking pool of manure. Okay then. Shit bucket. Oh! They're all dead bodies. Very observant of you. Can you imagine being just like one more statistic in like a tub full of dead bodies? What a... What a waste of human life. Um, I'm, I'm surprised I'm... I'm surprised I haven't seen another blue thing. I'm all looking. I'm looking. I'm not leaving this area till I've got all seven, by the way. I'm stubborn. I didn't just kill that chicken, did I? No, okay, good. Alright, what's this? What have we got here? It stinks. Thanks for that. Can I, um... Do I have to shoot this and then... Do I have to shoot this into the shit and then, like, go into it? Reach my hand in the shit. <laughs> you got the dirty pearl pendant. Can I, um... I'm gonna go ahead and just automatically assume I can clean it in that water over there. Because I've got big brain. Dirty, dirty thing needs... Oh, maybe not. <laughs> well, I, in old school Resident Evil, yeah, I know full well you've got to sometimes use things from the inventory. Um, uh, what the fuck did I just get? Dirty pendant. Key treasures. Examine. Doesn't seem to have much value because I've got to clean the motherfucker. Um, I'm guessing there's going to be water somewhere. So I'm guessing the spinal is the is the lowest form of uh, of treasure, basically. Can I not use it then? Oh shit! Oh, I wonder if I've got to combine it with some water. That makes sense. Okay. We're good to go. Um, I've still, I, I still need two more blue things. That chicken is making a dog sound. I can hear a dog. Hello. What's up? Hello. Is he okay? I will chase him. All right. Don't hit the bird. Jesus Christ. Where's the dog? Chase the dog. He ran through here. Hello, dog. Does he just run away from me? Directly away from me. I don't want to, like, follow this guy throughout the entire game to back to the start of the game. I think he just... I think he just runs away from you. What if I keep a distance? There's, there's some... This is the dog I rescue. There's something going on with this dog. Does he officially just stand there and then run away when I get close? 
I wonder if I can get some, like, food or something at some point, you know what I'm saying? I can't, like, click on him. He just runs right, yeah. Okay. He just runs for now. I saw it in the corner of my vision. One more. Oh, one more, and it's going to be in this area. Okay. We've been going an hour and six minutes. The rest of this episode is me finding this last blue thing. Um, and then I'll save it and call it an episode. We haven't made much progress, but forgive me. It's my first time. This is what it's gonna be like. It's, you know, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna slowly learn the game. And it's gonna probably take me the whole game to learn. As with most of my blind playthroughs, by the end of the game, I'm, I'm, I, I'm just getting good and then the game ends. Um... I bet the last one is a real pisser to see, isn't it? it? It would be very old school for the last one to be like an absolute pain in the ass to see. Um, it's going to be in this area. I'm not going to leave. Um, I, I, as I said at the start, I try to be as thorough as possible in these playthroughs, and that includes keeping most of the footage in, by the way. Uh, I don't like to edit out too much shit. I like to keep things in. The The one exception is when I get stuck somewhere or I can't figure out what to do and it takes me just an annoying, <laughs> frustrating and shit amount of time. Then I might snip bits out. And this might be one of those cases. Hang on, can I look up and see anything here? Oh, in the fucking corner. In the cornerest corner you ever cornered. Sneaky bastard. Sneaky bastard. Fucking hell, that's got some angle on it. Um, Jesus. But this, this laser is not the most easy thing to aim with. I think the tree's in the way. Um, you can't aim... Oh, you can aim really high. Oh, I'm a dick. I swear I could have sworn I couldn't aim that high before. Woohoo! There we go. Let's blast a quickie. Which means blast a save. And then we shall go. I think we will continue just for 10 more minutes. I want to see if I can get to the next typewriter. Done. Our health isn't full. You know what? Shall we eat an egg? I've got two of them. Um, chicken egg brown chicken. Right, that's a small amount of health. What's this one? Partial health. Right, so it's just one step better. Can I combine? Equip? Can you throw these at some people? Can I throw, this, th throw it at a chicken? Let's use the shit one first. If it's the first time I'm using it, let's just see how much health. Oh, it, that's like the smallest, but that was quite a chunk of health there. So you can equip them. <laughs> uh, okay, can I... Uh... You literally can. I'm not, I'm not gonna, but I bet there's some Easter eggs. I bet you can, like, tempt chickens or some shit. Or maybe, like, roll it and have the dog chase it. We'll see. We'll see. Not yet. <laughs> For now. Let's get through to the next area. I think I got all the shinies and all the clickies. Is this dog thing, is this symbolizing that he's like slowly getting used to me? And next, like in the next area, maybe he'll be a bit more friendly. I did try slowly chasing him. I tried clicking on him. There was no, like, options to do anything. And he seems to just run directly away from you, which doesn't indicate anything. If if he, if he ran in a certain place, it would be kind of obvious that you'd have to follow him, but I don't think so. Right, let's get all the way down here and get that typewriter. And then I'll call it an episode. Ooh. Good luck pushing... <gasps> 
fucking hell. Oh, look how fast he is. He's like Usain Bolt. But is it fast enough? Oh my god. Jesus. I'm the Q I'm the QTE fucking master. Did you see how fast I got that second prompt then? <laughs> Bloody hell. Just I was just I was I was interrupted by saying good luck pushing that massive boulder. Nope. They just yeeted it off the side. Fucking hell. Whew. Did you see how Leon was like proper hauling ass? That <laughs> was some fast running. Boom. I wonder if there's a way with this HD mod, I'm sure there is there's so many options on this menu thing. Uh, of of like once I aim now, it flicks my aim back to the center. I'm wondering. I'll check this off uh, recording. I'm not going to waste your time, but I'm I'm going to check if there's a way to un to to get that off because I don't like the way it fucks my aim up when I'm aiming. Is this back going to be a problem? I mean, I, I I've if it damages me, I'll kill all of these motherfuckers. But if it doesn't, I'm not going to kill them. Hello? Are you friendly? I'm sorry I killed your wife. I think I think they got shit. I try to avoid killing any animals if I can help it. Oh. And if it turns out there is some achievement on Steam for, for getting through the whole game without killing an animal and I've just failed it because I just sh shit on a bat, I'm going to be furious with myself. Oh, he's running away from me. Into the... Well, I'm glad I backstepped. Right, let's run away. Let's get some. Let's get some cover. Um, that's not a good thing. <gasps> oh, let's. Okay, let's rush him. Let's test the shotgun out. If ever there was a time. I've got it. A proper freezes you in position for a long time. Oh shit, fucking hell, oh fucking hell! Right, bloody hell. Let's get this front guy. <gasps> Did I shoot the explosive in midair? Oh my god, that has to be a thing, oh shit. Let's try, I've gotta try. I've gotta try. He's not doing any... Did he just kill himself? Oh, I wonder if you can. You must be able to shoot the grenade. that That's another old school sort of a thing. And since I can, let's just... Uh, blow the shit up. More gold. Oh, watch out. That, that doesn't look like a friendly spider to me. I bet that actually hurts you. I should probably leave the spiders alone. You know what? I'm not going to hurt any creature. <gasps> Ooh. I'm not going to hurt any creature unless it hurts me or, you know, I know it's, you know, going to kill my ass. Okay. All right. What was in here? They had a lot of sticks of dynamite, by the way. Like, what a supply. <sighs> Can I read any books? A bunch of old books. They're very big books. They're like shopping catalogues and shit. Oh! oh, my ass. My anus exploded. I need new pants. Right, I'm, I'm going to stun your ass. You missed. Oh, he's, he's down. Well, that's, that's one mistake you're going to regret, boy. Let that be a lesson to you. Stop throwing axes at people. No clues here. Okay. Okay.
Can I get up yonder? I cannot. Can I not? Can I really not? Oh, that seems like a place I should be able to get. Right, we can get in here. Uh, let's just quickly have a little, little peek. Now this is this is old school, too steep terrain. I'm going to be using the words old school a lot in this uh, in this playthrough because it is. You see what I mean about the, my aim centering every time? I've got to be able to change that. If I take a little bit more damage, I'll try the brown egg. Knock, knock. Ooh, there it is. Let's clean up and I'll, uh, I'll say, I'll end the episode. I mean, not to toot my own horn, but I believe I've collected everything so far in this, um, game. Let's save it. Let's save it, and then I want to go back and look outside, see if I can see any blue, um, blue boys. Blue medallions. Because, is this the cemetery? Or have we not reached the cemetery yet? Village... There's no official names. This is all village. Oh shit! You can zoom out. Fucking hell. Oh, oh! It tells you. Oh, it tells you where the blue things are. Is that in the main game or is that part of the mod? I'm not going to look at those. I mean, I've I've inevitably learned they're not here. They're in a different area later. Um, so we will get to the next blue things. I guess it was nice to know that they're not here, so I don't spend ages fucking searching. Um, so I can just stay in here. Um, that's a lot of banging. There isn't a way of crouching, is there? No. I don't have to stop the part at the save point because I'm going to record the next part straight away. Yes. I'm guessing all these are useless and shit. Oh. Nice. Oh, right, you can push. Um, fireplace. Hang on. Ah, okay. We've got to go through here. Is that some somebody banging on a door by any chance? Is this Ashley? Are we going to get it this early in the game, maybe? It did say she was in this village. That's not Ashley. Hello, pretty boy. Is that Aragorn? Ah, a little rough, don't you think? Oh my god, he's got he's got a he's got a sultry voice. You're not like them. No, you. Nice rings, nice vest. That's a proper, like, Wild West One vest. Very important question. Do you got a smoke? Got gum. <laughs> Smoking is hazardous to your health, son. Perfect. Perfect. Can you help me fight them? What? Who, who is this guy? Oh, shit. Big cheese. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Fucking Leon got schooled. Oh my goodness, this guy's huge! Did you, uh, end of, oh right, it's the end of the chapter! So this game has chapters. Oh, I tell you what, that actually makes, uh, that makes it very nice for episodes for, for YouTube. I had no idea there was actual start and end, like, full chapters. That's interesting. Hit ratio, oh, 90%. Enemies killed, 24 um, number of times killed zero. Other than the hit ratio, that's pretty solid, I think. Uh, if you cancel, uh, uh yeah, save. I, I hit save. Feeble humans. I hit fucking save. Didn't save. Let us give you our power. Uh, is what the fuck is in that needle? 
Oh, it's the priest guy. You will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Ah, creepy. Oh, what the fuck has he put inside of me? Okay, this is this was not a turn I was expecting. We've, we're, we're now friends with some random guy. We've Wake been up. injected with shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Yeah, please do. <laughs> Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Bloke. Oh, hey. Easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Yeah. Yes. You don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. <laughs> She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Want to start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers no, I believe you. something about the president's daughter in the church. Is he coming in our building? Is that what this Who is? Who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to Luis. be in Madrid. But now I'm just a good for nothing guy. Who happens to be, who happens to be a who happens to be a supermodel? Quit. <laughs> Policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. Luis. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought yeah. I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Who is this guy? How does he know this? Uh, we need to defend ourselves. Use your feet. Good dodge. I don't know how we got out of the cuffs. Dodge! Move your ass! Oh my god. Oh, broken neck. Leon's... Is he really running away from me right now? What a pussy. Is he a bad guy? It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? <laughs> I'm fine. Tied up. Held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. He just ran off. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No. But apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. Back to the village. I don't trust that guy for a second. I've got so much going on in my head right now. I loved Leon's confidence when he just charged that giant fucker and just kicked him square in the chest. Like, Le I was going to say, damn, Leon's got moves. Nope. Dude just, dude says no, grabs his foot and launches him <laughs> into Luis, the, the shady cop. Both Leon and Luis are like sexy motherfuckers who could be supermodels. Both cops. So that's the big cheese. Now I'm guessing he's not the actual big cheese. I'm guessing the priest guy is perhaps the big cheese. Um, at least of these villagers. I'm sure Umbrella is somewhere at the top of the chain somewhere, somehow. Um, I'm going to end the part here. Yeah, I'm sure Umbrella's actually the big cheese, but th that big fucker is clearly the muscle. He's the, he's like the second to last boss of the game. <laughs> and that priest guy seems to be the, the brains of the operation. So as we end episode one, Leon's been injected with something purple. Um, and he was talking about powers. And then that guy... Uh, flippantly mentioned psychic powers. Are we are we gonna get psychic powers? I feel like I would have some uh, at some point in my gaming history I would have heard that in Resident Evil 4 you have fucking psychic powers if that was true So I don't think we're gonna have actual psychic powers. That would be silly um, But I'm, I, I want to know what the hell that is
Are we going to become subservient like the villagers then? Become another sort of bitch of the priest? And I don't trust that pretty boy Luis Cop for a second. Let me guess, he's like an agent for Umbrella or some shit, and he's, he's here checking the progress of their latest experiments. Hope you enjoyed episode one. I'll start to pick up the pace a little bit, hopefully, in the future. I was just really getting to grips with it. It is a blind let's play, please remember that, so I don't have a clue when it comes to the gameplay of this game or anything. So it's all one big learning process, but hope you enjoyed it. Like this video if you liked it, like this video if you didn't like it, and subscribe for similar content. I'll catch all of you guys in episode two. Liquid Blitz, 